and welcome to this Who Merch review featuring the new 12th Doctor action figures. Would you believe this is the third time I've recorded this, so hopefully I don't delete the final edits again, because that would be a shame. So, let's, first of all, take a look at the box as usual, so move out of the way, front runner Capaldi. We have the Doctor Who logo, the current Doctor Who logo, up the top. We've got the 5.5 inch nonsense here and the 12th Doctor at the bottom, and you can see it is for ages 5 plus. On one side of the packaging we get the same details again, just sort of slanted at a different angle, and the clear window continues round the other side of the box, and there's this scammy thing that I've never done, and probably never will. On the back of the box we've got a picture of the Doctor, and I assure you on the other box for the other Doctor it is a picture of the other Doctor, and we have a rundown of the 12th Doctor, plus his memorable, what, quote, so that is it for the box, let's take a look at the figures themselves. Okie doke, so here we have my least favourite costume for the 12th Doctor that could possibly have been imagined. This figure represents it very nicely, it does actually look like the on-screen outfit used in The Girl Who Died. The worn, checkered trousers, the white t-shirt, everything down to the red button on the cuff, which you may be able to see just there. Uh, we get the hood on the back, uh, some weak wrinkling on the material on the coat, but some very intense wrinkling on the trousers. Uh, we get some nice creases in the coat as well, um, some nice lines down it as just as normal. Um, hands all sculpted very nicely, the ring on his left hand, now not featuring that green bobble, no idea why, just it's not there. Um, coming back round to the front, we see the boots and the hair sculpt, which is actually, I like this hair sculpt, and I don't care what other people say, but I do agree with some others that the sculpting on the face is a little bit weak. Then again, that's not to say it doesn't look like Peter Capaldi, because on both figures, it really does. I can see the resemblance exactly, so well done. Could have been a bit more liney, but actually, I think this figure does him better, basically. Um... This is the other figure, black trousers, black hood, and black and white speckled jumper. Um, I'm, I'm, I prefer this figure, I prefer this outfit, it is the lesser of two evils. This was first seen in Last Christmas, then in uh, Before the Flood, um, Under the Lake and Before the Flood, sorry, the Zygon two-parter invasion in, inversion, uh, and Sleep No More as well. So this, this costume has seen a lot of action, especially in Series 9. Um, and yeah, I suppose it's grown on me a little bit, but I'm it's, it's still not my favourite. What's more on this figure, I think the hair is a bit darker than on the other figure, which is a shame because I actually prefer this figure to the other one, so there we are. And so as this figure completes its rotation, it's time to turn to articulation. The head can do a left and right turn, I wouldn't suggest doing the 360 as it will rub some of the paint off the neck. Uh, the arm can go back and forth like so, it can also come out to 90 degrees at the shoulder, spin at the top of the arm through 360 degrees, there's a 90 degree at the elbow and a full 360 at the wrist as well. You'll be able to see that this figure has waist articulation but not as much as I would hope, no full 360. Uh, 360 at the top of the legs, a 90 degree at the knee, and lastly, a 360 on the ankle. So overall, pretty basic for what we expect now in an action figure. Doing a quick size comparison, where did it all go wrong? The new figure is the tallest out of the most recent releases, and I've seen a video where the Sylvester McCoy figure comes up to his shoulder, which is just wrong. Where does it all go wrong? Well, we have to take a look at the two Capaldis, really, to notice it. So let's just brush the others aside, there we get... Oh. I just don't look that way. Just look at the Capaldis, there's nothing to see elsewhere. It is very much a case of, what are those? Um, the shoes are the problem. The shoes on the new Capaldi are huge, taking a look at them against the 2015 release of the shoes, you can see just how much bigger they are. They are in fact one whole peg bigger, that's how much bigger they are. So the shoes then, can it be sorted? Well yes, if you've got some spare Series 8 shoes laying around, that is how you sort it. Simply remove the shoes from the 2017 release and take them away and burn them. 
actually burn them. Pop down the 2015 release and pop your Series 9 Capaldi on top of them. Pushing down nicely, they should just pop in like so. And there you have it. Your figure will now actually stand at the same height as your original 2015 Capaldi release. What you do about the height difference between the other figures? Um... Look the other way. There's, there's there's nothing you can do about that. Sorry. Make stilts? I don't... I don't know. Both of these Capaldis come with the new Sonic Screwdriver, which looks lovely and very, very small, as per usual. You can see just how small by my hand. Um, the gold and the blue and the silver have been captured very nicely. There's not much paint bleed, um, so that is superb quality control. Um, when they've been trying to paint these, uh, it must be very difficult, so well done to them. Well done. It's a very accurate Sonic Screwdriver. The popular website, the Doctor Who site, has also suggested you get one of these, which is an electric guitar from a doll's house, uh, and pop it with your Capaldi. I have actually added this strap you can see on the back, here we go, um, yeah, I've, I've added that, so if you wish to add a strap as well, go ahead, because it does fall out of his hands quite a bit, just take it, and pop it on him, and he looks absolutely lovely, doesn't he just look the part, wonderful, very happy with that, I shall link it in the description, if I forget, please do remind me in the comments below. So overall, what do I think of these figures, well, they're great, aren't they? Other than the size difference, they're fantastic, and I'm I'm happy with them. I wish the guitar did come with the Capaldi figure that's holding it, because that would be really cool, but clearly that was just a step too far, so, you know, getting that extra one was a great idea. So thank you to the Doctor Who site. Um, yeah, really like these figures, the black outfit more than the checkered trousers outfit but you know my thoughts on that because I said them earlier thank you so much for watching I will try my hardest not to delete this footage and hopefully it will make its way online see you next time for something else goodbye